Great. Um, so, uh, my name is Paul, and um, we're from Burnley College, uh, which is in the northwest part of England. Uh, we're from a college that's got uh, about two and a half thousand 16 to 18 year olds uh, that study a variety of courses there. Uh, we also have a university on campus as well. Um, we wanted to uh, come on a trip um, that uh, took our students beyond their expectations and aspirations. Uh, we come from quite a deprived area, so the trip was uh, set to uh, bring students out to change and challenge them and uh, so they could stretch uh, stretch themselves um, and we discussed different ways that we could do that uh, working with uh, Charlotte and Helen who's uh, not uh, been able to come on this trip but did an awful lot of work in preparation for the trip um, that we wanted to bring the students out here to, to uh, really give them uh, an experience that give them perspective um, and, and that was our, our starting goal really, is just to take them somewhere uh, where they could lose themselves and hopefully find themselves during that experience. I'm Sarah McNeil, I'm one of the managers in the A-Level division at Burnley College and I also teach A-Level Law. The students have thoroughly enjoyed and been challenged by the work that we've done on this trip. They've enjoyed working with the turtles, cleaning out the tanks. They absolutely loved working with the young children at the school and teaching them and preparing the lesson in advance and they've also really enjoyed looking at conservation and learning about mangroves. They've gone home far more informed than they were to begin with and with lessons that will set them up for life which we're really pleased about. Many of them were planning on going to university after this trip but now a large number are reconsidering doing a gap year and doing some useful volunteering. I'm Charlotte Ainsworth, I work for the Marketing Department uh, at Burnley College. Uh, my role is a school liaison officer but I also um, help support volunteering in college and provide volunteering advice to students. Um, throughout the process of planning the trip, um, I, we felt very supportive by GVR. Any questions that we've had um, in terms of the trip, um, We've, uh, we've always had somebody at the other end when we've emailed, they've always emailed back uh, pretty quickly. Um, we found um, the meetings, the Skype meetings we had, uh, really, really useful. Uh, the pre-departure meeting uh, was fantastic. We were well informed about kind of what uh, to prepare for for the trip. Um, right at the beginning, um, when we, um, we got the students together, we recruited the students. And then we again another scout meeting where um, we had a chat to their parents as well. They came in. Um, I, I felt the parents uh, again uh, were well informed of the trip, um, and I think I felt they were quite confident at the end of leaving the meetings that um, their, their child will be well supported um, about on, on the trip, and they were well informed before we left. I think the whole experience, I think just them um, coming here, I think uh, it's obviously when you're taking uh, 10, 16 to 18 year olds, uh, in our case, uh, girls uh, to a different country, it's the first time we've ever done this as a college, um, so there were a lot of nerves. I think the GVI experience has just made that um, a smooth experience for us, so we've been able to, um, you know, the, the, we've had that reassurance, we've had that communication throughout the whole experience when we've arrived here. Uh, it's just been fantastic, absolutely fantastic. The GBR um, uh, team have just felt part of the group. Um, we've gone out and every experience, by day two, the aims that we'd set in terms of uh, the students in the reflection sessions at the end of each day, the, the aims the students had, had, had set and we'd set for our students had been achieved. Um, I remember emailing home to uh, my, uh, my manager, uh, one of the deputy principals at our college, and just saying, uh, they've, they've surpassed it and they're surfing on stars and just the experience that they've had uh, whilst they've been here has been inspiring to watch and to see that change and we've been able to during that process and we've talked about that in terms yeah. of throughout the whole process to watch the change in the students and I uh, just hope that they can grab hold of that now and do something with it and use that as a trigger um, and the GVR experience has really set that up um, so we're just really grateful for the opportunity to come out there we've, we've felt safe reassured 
throughout the, throughout the whole experience. Um, so we just really want to say a big thank you to, to GBR for all, for all that they have done. Um, I'd like to thank um, the, the students for just getting engaged in the experience. It's, it's just surpassed, totally surpassed our expectation. Wonderful experience and we'll recommend it to anybody. Yeah. We'll definitely be back in touch with GBI. We would love to bring more students and I'm certain that the students we've brought with us this time will be embarking on doing more voluntary work in future with GBI. It might not be through us as a college but they're already making plans for the summer holidays and for the year um, after they've finished their A-levels. Um, we'd also like to say that Anna and Bartan from GBI have been absolutely brilliant and every time we've counted our blessings, we've counted them both twice. and I think that's something that will probably continue as well um, after the return to college and maybe obviously linked to one of the GDAR projects and fundraising one of them, I think we definitely be up for that. So yeah, I'll link to Thailand, Thailand don't finish today. This is our last day, don't finish today, they start today. Uh, we hope to go back and uh, uh, do further work and uh, do some fundraising and send things out to Thailand uh, and we'll be back and hopefully we'll be back uh, next year. Uh, so um, we'll be going back and uh, bless Helen who going to have to organise it all again but I'll go back and say right that it starts now so um, just to give more students the experience and I hope that the, the, the students that we brought here can, can take that experience and, and, and make the changes not just here, it sounds good when it's here but hopefully can make those changes for the rest of their life and inspire them for the rest of their life. I think the, there's been a quote uh, going through my head through the, through the whole week, uh, I think it's uh, Franklin uh, D. Roosevelt talks about uh, there's nothing to fear other than fear itself the students have seen those fears uh, and they've uh, found a way through those fears this week and that, that's just a fantastic experience they've been taken out of the comfort zone and stretched um, it's been challenging for them uh, and they come out of that better prepared people for the rest of their life and what more can you ask uh, from a week's experience in Thailand um, so fantastic experience uh, I don't know about, about you but uh, I know for the students as well a piece of uh, Thailand uh, a piece of me sorry uh, will we'll stay in Thailand yeah. definitely yeah, this is the tip of the iceberg for Burnley College and Thailand. There'll be far more in the future. Yeah.